Hi, everybody. Susan Gerbic here from Psychics Explained. I just wanted to do a quick video to let you know I'm still here. I We put on a very, very amazing small conference in Monterey County uh, last week, uh, January 5th, 6th, and 7th. We went to the Winchester Mystery House. We had lectures. We had lots of people here and had a fantastic time. I have a lot of videos uh, of the lectures to upload immediately after that. I mean, immediately after that, Mark Edward and I went to a mentalist conference in South Carolina, which at Myrtle Beach. And at that conference, I expected to get a lot of work done, but no, it doesn't work that way. Wonderful conference. It was all about seance and uh, bizarre magic. And the amount of work that goes into seance to fool people, you would be shocked. Um, wonderful storytellers, wonderful um, props and uh, uh, magicians, which mentalism and seance, it's an art form. It's its not real for anybody watching this right now. And I, I turned to Mark when we were leaving and I said, I don't know why mentalists and magicians get so upset whenever their methods are exposed because of psychics because psychics aren't using these methods. Absolutely not. Well, the ones I've examined, all the psychic mediums I've, I've dealt with, they're not using any of these tricks. They're using cold reading, hot reading, wordplay, careful editing. Um, they're not doing any of this other devious stuff that the mentalists do in the magic community. And one of the things I want to mention um, at my talk um, my conference that I gave in Monterey, a friend of mine gave a talk on um, artificial intelligence. His name is Leonard Tremell. And we were talking about, he was talking about artificial intelligence and how everybody's really worried about artificial intelligence fooling us and so on. And his point, his takeaway from that was, it's not that artificial intelligence is fooling us. It's that we are fooling us. We're fooling ourselves because we want so badly to believe in things that we're overlooking obvious issues or the information is out there, but we're just either inexperienced or too lazy or don't know how to look up the information. The answers to most of these things are out there. Um, uh, videos are, that are faked or... Um, audio it's faked, images that are faked, or other other things happening with, with AI. And it, it relates definitely to psychic mediums and the work that we do. And it is, um, when I look at these readings that we're doing, these more private readings, the to me and to anybody who's who's with it, who understands what's going on, it's so obvious what's happening. Um, but to somebody who's in grief and who's vulnerable and who believes in mediumship, it's not obvious. And yes, the information is out there. They could, they could figure this out. It's not like anybody's hiding anything. Um, you know, Houdini, Harry Houdini, James Randi, and people who preceded me have written large books with indexes and everything on this. This is not secret knowledge that I'm revealing. Um, but so lastly, um, today I published an article in Skeptical Inquire. Check out the show, um, the description of this video. I will put a link there. And I have written an article that I think I'm just starting to get feedback. It just published today. And I think um, I'm very proud of it until somebody tells me, oh my gosh, you misspelled a whole bunch of words here. <laughs> but at the moment, it is, it is my, it is my best understanding of what's going on in the world of mediumship. And I have posted this all over my Facebook page and multiple groups that I belong to. It's called mediumship. I still have a lot to learn. Um, skeptical Inquire. As I said, I'll put a link to this here. I really am interested in your feedback on it. It's published January 17th, 2024. And in it, I'm talking about what I think is going on because there's a huge disconnect 
between people who are the normals in the world, those people who don't have anything to do with mediumship, they haven't gotten a reading, they've seen it on TV, and then the skeptic universe, which is my universe, the people who have, who feel like they know what's going on, and then those people who believe and have the readings done, those three groups, there's a total disconnect going on there of what's happening. And I feel like only now after years of being totally immersed in this, that I'm starting to understand what's going on. And I hope you'll read my article and, and give it a look. Um, and okay, one more thing. Um, there is another YouTube channel called The Psychic Skeptic. It's um, um, a very small channel, only has 16... 60 something subscribers, 25 videos out. And his name is James Baker. He is a uh, Australian who specializes in uh, the psychic world as well. And he puts out, I've subscribed to his channel. He puts out some really, really interesting videos on breaking down readings like I do. But um, James does this in, with a lot more graphics and, you know, things beeps and boops and things like that on the screen and so it takes them a long time to pr produce a video but um and i can put one out really quickly because i'm just mainly talking to the to to you guys um but i i think you should give his channel a look he analyzes videos uh readings differently than i do he comes to pretty much the same conclusion it's a lot of times we um <laughs> it's funny how many we were working on at the same time the uh, he does more videos that are public and um, I do I've been really trying to focus on more private readings so check out his channel I'll also put a link to his YouTube channel in uh, the description box he has a couple books out he sent me copies and no James I haven't read him um, it, it's in a stack of books I've I browsed through but I have not had a chance to to do that yet but I, I am looking forward to maybe in 2025 no I'm only kidding I got to get to books but I I've been my to-do list of getting things done is so long that I keep, I keep promising you guys I'm going to do more videos they're sitting there queued up in my in my uh, uh files waiting to be reviewed and um snowstorm got caught in a snowstorm in tennessee a couple days ago plane was plane trip that was supposed to take four hours took 10 had to go to san diego and get a hotel Woo. oh my gosh oh my gosh you guys if only only if only there was a psychic we can consult who would advise airlines and it would advise travelers and deal with all this an insurance company you know we, you would think they'd work for insurance companies and say, oh, nope, that's a risk. Don't insure that person. <laughs> Their house is going to burn down soon. And nope, you know, our life expectancy is very short in this one. Um, you know, you would think they would be around. I I, I would think a, a psychic could make a fortune. I mean, billions of dollars working for insurance companies and the airline industry. But nope, nope, everything is just willy-nilly. We're relying on science and weather reports and de-icing planes and all that if you've never sat through a de-icing of a plane i can cross i have i've got video of some of it it's sitting from you know in the seat and seeing the de-icing happening and oh my gosh i can cross that off my bucket list i didn't know it was on there but <laughs> now now i don't have to worry about de-icing up sitting on a plane while it's being de-iced all right. I promise you guys, I will get back to doing more regular videos. I have so much content I have to create. And as I said, my my list of uh, things to do is very long. And um, I tend to not want to delegate too much to people because I want it done the way I want it done. And um, everything that can be delegated is delegated. Everything that is not delegated, I will get to it. I promise. Take care, everybody. Please leave your comments. I'm really, really, really curious about the discussion um, about uh, the article mediumship. I still have a lot to learn. Um, and, and I want to hear your feedback from our community that we're building here on uh, Psychics Explained. Bye for now.